my lagna lord of my b1 chart my lagna lord of my lagna chart is placed in this particular house of my navamsha chart my dashamsha chart my dwadashamsha chart d9 d10 d12 sastyamsha chart d60 what does it mean what does it mean why is your lagna lord placed in a particular house of course he has to be placed somewhere <laughs> but why is he in that house why is he in not some other house okay and when i say lagna lord i am very clear i do not mean the uh, lagna lords of those respective divisional charts for example if you are uh, if your saturn is your lagna lord in your rashi chart suppose you are a capricorn or you are an aquarius lagna then i am talking of position of saturn in all other divisional charts so suppose you are um, aries lagna in the navamsha chart then i am not talking of mars here okay because people get confused lagna lord of which which chart okay so your rashi chart your d1 chart that same one lagna lord you check in all other divisional charts okay so what does it mean if you have your lagna lord in a particular house in the divisional chart so today we shall discuss uh these principles and uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your relationships career marriage health you can always go to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so what does the lagna lord represent lagnesh lagna what is lagna lagna is that which connects you with the universe which means when you say that i am born in a particular ascendant no i am born in a taurus ascendant a cancer ascendant what does it mean it means that's the sign which was rising from the eastern horizon depending on the position of the sun of course that's how you determine which will be a lagna so for example if you are born around noon time then sun will be in your 10th house and that means you can count four houses okay and then you get your lagna like that we all know about that but you have to understand what is the lagna lagna is that why do they say that the lagna is the focus because the lagna is distinct it is you it's not me it's not he it's not she it's you <laughs> nobody in the universe will have the same horoscope okay nobody will have the same planets everybody will have some difference always even if they are twins always there are, there there is some difference or the other now we may be able to differentiate that using astrology or we may not but if you go to minute astrology principles now if you go to higher uh, divisional charts or you you know break up the nakshatras into you know uh, as they say sometimes in sub lords or cuspel sub lords okay then you can very easily find the difference between twins also easily but what i'm trying to tell you is theoretically you have to understand that at the end nobody has the same lagna okay now you may say oh i am cancer lagna he is also cancer lagna we both we both have the same lagna no you don't you just don't have the same lagna but you may say oh i am born in 12 degrees 12.00 he is also born in 12.00 wow is it the same lagna right no 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 it's not the same lagna <laughs> because even if you have the same degree of the lagna with another person your lagna lord will be in a different sign your lagna will be aspected by a different planet or different planets okay so therefore lagna is that which differentiates which distinguishes you from everybody else okay so that is why it's known as the uh, that which makes you attached to this world it's like a stamp okay you are this lagna these these planets are here the lagna decides the lordships of the planets that is the most important thing and the lagna also decides the houses where your planets are sitting in okay the lagna of course does not decide the zodiac uh, because the zodiac sign planets are always sitting but the houses the results come from the houses that is determined by the lagna and wherever your lagna lord is sitting in your lagna chart that shows the primary area of focus in your life okay but 
what does it mean when you say your lagna lot is in a particular house of this divisional chart okay divisional charts are uh, charts which show things specifically like navamsha shows your spiritual life your your um, married marital bliss or you know, married life or serious relationships these are seen from navamsha then your saptamsha chart will show you things like children and your dwada samsa which is d12 will show you parents okay your d4 chaturthamsha will show property you know dashamsha is d10 which shows career and uh, then you have you know shoda samsha which is uh, d16 it shows vehicles okay then sasti amsha d60 okay then you have trim samsa so many charts are there d d30 d30 you know um, so many d's <laughs> so these are the charts which show us specifically that we are uh, how do we behave when we talk of certain uh, aspects of one personality okay so for example if somebody's lagna chart is good then uh, uh, then what happens is when you meet the person you just talk you have a decent interaction you will feel oh yeah this person is nice okay great this person seems to be good okay lagna chart is that which seems to be which is not what he or she is what's what that person seems to be okay and divisional charts are who the person is exactly so for example if the person is you know talking big big things you know and then if the dashamsha chart is not good then the person lacks discipline determination and uh, the goal and that uh, necessary uh, guidance or necessary knowledge which is required to progress in career but if the lagna chart is great then the person will just keep speaking big things you know oh, i will open company i want to become a millionaire i want to become a billionaire okay or if the lagna chart is good the person might be very smart very attractive you know very uh, very flamboyant very handsome very uh, people could be drawn they can, might be very charismatic but if the navamsha chart is not good then they will not be able to maintain committed relationships they will go around hopping like dogs from one person to the other okay so th this is what is the meaning of divisional charts and divisional charts also have an ascendant okay so for example as i said if you are capricorn lagna then in your navamsha chart you might be aries lagna so wherever your mars is the divisional charts lagna lord that is the house where you will be focused in during that particular uh, aspect of life but if you talk of the lagna lord of your lagna chart where he is placed that is the house so suppose your lagna lord is saturn as i said and in your dashamsha chart your saturn is placed uh, in the fifth house okay so what does it mean then it means that uh, that particular area of life which is like you are zooming okay so you are zooming your career it's like you are trying to see with a glass you know magnifying glass what's there in my career how much focus do i have how much determination do i have how much knowledge do i have so all these things when you are trying to see then the fifth house becomes very important why because who is there in the fifth house you have the planet saturn the planet saturn is the original lagnesh so it is your original focus of your entire life and now you are coming into career okay so that means this house the fifth house becomes very important because this is that area which can either make you or break you so wherever the lagnesh is sitting in a particular divisional chart that area can not only make you or break you in that area of life but that that house that sign can make or break you in all other respective areas of your life also because then what is happening not only is your uh, house or sign getting spoiled uh, but your lagnesh is getting affected okay so for example if your lagnesh is in the uh, your lagnesh is saturn and he is in the fifth house of dashamsha chart then something to do with creativity or uh, you know subordinates you know they can uh, they can make you or they can break you maybe you have very good subordinates but maybe your subordinates are trying to pull you down or they are trying to uh, go up the ladders and trying to do things which are totally destroying your career it could happen 
okay or it could happen that your subordinates are so great that you are going up uh, the ladders of success but whatever happens in that area has the power to completely make you or break you okay so this means that uh, if you are feeling that in any particular area of life you are not able to function properly which means you are you feel accordingly that you do not get a decent amount of success or that much success which people get in that particular area of life then you must check the lagnesh where is that lagnesh in that particular divisional chart then you should try and see how you can do the necessary remedies and how you can activate the good traits the supporting traits of that house particularly for that horoscope okay that divisional chart so for example uh, if your uh, if your lagna lord is your lagna lord is placed in 10th house of navamsha chart okay that could mean that could mean okay depending on other things that anything that happens in your career okay can uh, very much drastically affect your marriage and thereby it ends up affecting you because it is it is not only marriage it's the lagna lord okay first it will affect your marriage first it will affect that divisional chart and then it will end up affecting you uh, overall your psychology your intelligence in fact i know there was one person uh, who had this placement you know his lagna chart uh, lagna lord of his rashi chart was placed in the uh, 10th house of the navamsha chart okay navamsha's 10th house so then what happened was this person got a career opportunity somewhere in some foreign lands okay and then this person went so i told this person that uh, this could uh, create uh, some issues within your marriage because the 10th lord uh, sorry the planet was debilitated in the 10th house okay so the lagna lord was debilitated in the 10th house of the d9 uh, chart so then i told him that uh, you could have some serious challenges in your married life if you go there and then what happened was uh, this person he went abroad and then uh, he started feeling that you know uh, the too many quarrels with his wife you know because they had this you know long distance relationship and for uh, almost 9 to 10 months this person was you know staying outside and they were not able to meet or you know hardly uh, see each other and then these problems started growing so then this person had come back to me again and this person asked me that what do i do now i said well uh, this career can either make you or break you so somehow you should bring your spouse there or you know you should come back something that's that's something which you should decide or we can work out another plan but what i'm telling you is here that these things are very important and what happened because i said that can make you or break you this this problem uh, this problem in his married life this completely shattered him you know he was like oh uh, i had such a good relationship but i don't know the moment i went for the job opportunity what happened you know and uh, because of that uh, they are like not able to he is not able to focus in his work also because that planet is debilitated it will make you feel miserable you will get you know very much negative thoughts in worst case even you know suicidal thoughts sometimes okay so uh then i told him to do certain remedies or mantras but even then it was very difficult okay if a planet is in debility navamsha is a very challenging placement as an example i said but at the end that person made a decision and that person um, thought that he should now return back or his marriage was about to end okay so this is something uh, this is an example and this gave him so much depression and this gave him so much uh a uh, hatred towards his spouse and towards himself towards his parents you know her parents you know, it was like a it was it was like a big jolt which this person faced <clears throat> so therefore it's very crucial that you understand the house in the divisional chart where your lagnesh is placed these houses are very powerful actually so whenever that house gets activated and that particular divisional chart gets affected it can uh, drastically affect you positively negatively and similarly i had seen the chart uh, of another person uh, his his lagna lord 
you know his lagna lord of the rashi chart was debilitated in the third house of the saptamsha chart okay and then when he had gone for a travel then what happened was um short short distance travel so he used to tell me that whenever he goes for some short distance travel there is always a fight with his kids you know for for no reason so he asked me well, how should i resolve this? then i suggested him some uh, remedies and some mantra then i tried to see who 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 which plant is helping them uh for example if the trinal lords are helping that uh, planet which is badly placed you know in that divisional chart then uh if the trinal lord uh, if the fifth lord is helping then uh you can you can uh improve your life by doing sadhana fifth house is sadhana okay self efforts okay and then if the ninth house is helping then you can get guidance from a guru or a counselor what kind of planet that is if that's venus then some female uh, could come and guide that person or if it is uh, jupiter it can be some spiritual guru who can guide okay if it saturn somebody who is old they might guide okay so this is how you uh, try to identify and see how to actually help the person because the ultimate aim of astrology was it and it should be i'm not saying it is nowadays but the ultimate aim of astrology should be that you can uh, suggest uh, some practical remedies uh, which the person can do within his reach very easily to whatever extent possible okay so once you do that then you will realize that actually uh, you are able to use this principle beautifully so therefore it's very crucial that you check where your lagnesh is in that particular divisional chart okay because if that house gets badly affected or you yourself badly affect that house then that particular area of life will also be spoiled and also your overall life uh, might become more challenging so therefore always improve that area of life and then you will see that particular area uh, uh, when i say improve that particular area i mean the house and then you will see the overall divisional chart that area which that divisional chart represents like in this case the navamsha that is also improving okay there are so many examples i have uh, also seen you know lagna lord in 10th house of navamsha you know there, there is uh, there is a downfall in career and the spouse leaves you and goes you know so these are things i have seen uh, that's very unfortunate but it keeps happening in kaliyuga these days <laughs> all right so yeah so therefore uh, you need to focus uh, on these areas where your uh, lagnesh is placed okay and by that you can actually elevate not only that particular divisional chart you can elevate your whole life your whole life will take a new direction your whole damn life will go it, it's like going like a rocket okay so therefore do not waste those areas do not waste those divisional charts okay so check the house sign and try to see which planets are helping if it is in a bad dignity then try to see are the trinal lords helping is jupiter who is the natural significator of blessings of god is he helping okay is sun and moon they are helping or they are uh, not able to help okay so how do you, what do you mean when you say a planet is helping okay for that you have to uh, check where is the flow of the horoscope where is the where is the person finally going and is this uh, something which will help the person or it will make the person more unhappy okay so once you determine using these functions uh, by astrological principles then you know exactly what should you suggest the person something which can actually help the person okay not that you are just saying okay this will happen that will happen you are just giving some predictions which are anyways useless because if a person uh, if a, if something similar happens to a person like in this case the person comes to you who went abroad and his married life uh, went down and you say that, oh sir yeah anyways you are going to get divorced on no you know uh, 30th june 2022 you will get divorced okay thank you very much such a wonderful prediction you gave right <laughs> yeah there are people who do all this and they cannot help help anybody now of course if in this case if the lagna is indicating the sixth house then that then the separation might happen you may not be able to stop it but you as an astrologer you should do anything and everything to stop negative events from happening in somebody's life and even after that if the client comes and tells you 
that sir i did all this and there was some relief but still it happened then you have to understand it is the will of destiny it is drida karma which means that is something which you have to face okay and that's not fatalistic it is not uh, because of some stupidity of you know some random selection which the universe has done you know this is all nonsense this is because of our own karma that we faced that maybe the suffering which we had given was so intense that we could not get away with it with it okay but of course we should try to suggest remedies and uh, try to take people towards uh, self improvement and that is the only focus that i have in this channel and that is why i do not waste time uh, making uh, some fancy prediction videos because anyways that will happen to you in your life okay but are you improving as a person or not or are you staying the same or are you going down that is my area of concern okay thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and some similar videos i'll put it here god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and if you want a consultation the website link is down in the description section